Hello, we are discussing about gate 1998 ECE paper and the topic we are discussing is electronic devices. This is first two mark question came in gate 1998. Look at the diagram. The threshold voltage for each transistor in figure is 2 volts. For this circuit to work as inverter, VI must take the values A minus 5 volts and 0 volts B minus 5 volts and plus 5 volts C minus 0 volts and 3 volts D 3 volts and 5 volts The right option for this one is A minus 5 volts and 0 volts Here in all the options A, B, C, D if you observe there are only 4 possibilities of input voltages are given minus 5 volts, 0 volts, plus 5 volts, plus 3 volts. For these 4 possibilities, if you are applying them as input by the time which transistor is on, which transistor is off, based on that one we can choose. Since it is acting as inverter for one input, if you are applying VI as low at that time, one of the transistor is going to be on, the other must be off. If you are applying VI as high, one of the transistor must be in on condition the other must be in off condition that is simultaneously only one transistor will be in the on condition that you have to check so we will proceed in this way given that one threshold voltage of both transistors as 2 volts above one is P mass and below one is N mass P mass is connected with 0 volts that is ground and N mass is connected with minus 5 volts and threshold voltage of N mass is equal to 2 volts. Threshold voltage of P mass is 2 volts. But magnitude of threshold voltage is 2 volts. Otherwise VTP is minus 2 volts. Threshold voltage, the definition is, it is the minimum amount of gate to source voltage required to enhance the channel such that drain current flows whenever drain to source voltage is applied. Because both are enhancement type MOSFETs, so, the gate to source voltage must be greater than threshold voltage. Based on that one, we can say N MOSFET is on when VGS is greater than VTN. P MOSFET is on when VSG is greater than VTP or modulus of VGS is greater than or equal to modulus of VTP. So, we have only four possibilities. Minus 5 volts, 0 volts, plus 3 volts plus 5 volts first we will go with case 1 when V input is minus 5 volts that is V input is minus 5 volts which is connected to the gate of both transistors by that time we have to calculate VGS for the N mass as well as VSG for the P mass and based on above conditions whether which is going to be on or off that we have to finalize VGSN is equal to VGN minus VSN. VGN is nothing but gate voltage of N mass that is connected at input. So input is minus 5 volts right now. And source voltage of N mass, this is source voltage of N mass which is also connected at minus 5 volts. So minus of minus 5 volts, that is minus 5 plus 5 which is equal to 0 volts. 0 volts is less than VTN since VTN is 2 volts. So definitely N mass is off, no channel has been induced. Look at for the P mass, when V input is minus 5 volts, VSGP that is VSP minus VGP is equal to VSP source of P mass is connected at ground that is 0 minus gate of P mass is connected at VI minus of minus 5 that is 5 volts. So 5 volts is greater than VTP. VSGP is greater than VTP so P mass is on for minus 5 volts N mass is off and P mass is on when V input is equal to 0 similarly VGS N VGS VSGP we have to calculate VGS N is nothing but again you are writing in this way VGN minus VSN VGN is nothing but input signal 0 minus of minus 5 is plus 5 volts so plus 5 volts is nothing but greater than threshold voltage of N mass so N mass will be on 
and VSGP is nothing but 0 volts which is less than VTP so P MOS will be off for V input is equal to 0 volts N MOS is on P MOS is off for V input of minus 5 volts N MOS is off P MOS is on we will consider the other two options also third option when V input is equal to 3 volts VGS N is equal to 3 minus of minus 5 volts that is equal to 8 volts so N MOS will be on VSGP is 0 minus 3 so that is minus 3 volts which is less than VTP so P MOS will be off if you increase V input more positive by that time also the same situation happens that is N MOS will be in on condition P MOS will be in off condition but the power supply is used we can use out of these four cases N MOS on P MOS off we can take one case the other case is nothing but N MOS off P MOS on we can take two cases out of four possibilities but here the circuit is connected with power supplies as 0 volts and minus 5 volts so we cannot apply more than 0 volts we cannot apply less than minus 5 volts so what we can choose is nothing but input must be compatible with this power supply so input must be 0 volts to minus 5 volts in between minus 5 to 0 volts only input should be so the right option for this one is nothing but V input range is nothing but minus 5 and 0 volts whenever V input is minus 5 volts at that time P MOS is on N MOS is off whenever V input is 0 volts N MOS is on P MOS is off so that for the range of V input minus 5 to 0 volts this circuit act as inverter so the correct option for the given question is A minus 5 volts and 0 volts thank you